OpenAI just launched Dolly 3 through ChatGPT4 and it is amazing. I mean, look at these images. So that got me thinking, is Dolly 3 good enough to create actual data visualizations that could be used for real data analysis? Today, I'm gonna to push Dolly 3 to its limits to see if I could create some actual data visuals to be used for analysis. For prompts, I posted a question to my LinkedIn network and let people go crazy. And yes, I know ChatGPT has a plugin for advanced data analytics, but we're talking about data visualizations made by ChatGPT. You won't believe the kinds of stuff that Dolly 3 comes up with. Here's the first one I tried. First up, the bar chart with the x-axis is the days of the week and the y-axis is the number of unicorns spotted. Let's see what Dolly gives us. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. The 3D bar chart with the unicorns on top. I think this one is my favorite. That is insane. How do you even interpret that? Everyone knows that 3D graphs are a huge no-no. Are these supposed to be the days of the week? It's not even in a, a clear language. Wow. Next up, bubble chart where the x-axis is the types of magic potions. The y-axis is the level of sparkle. And the bubble size is the probability to turn someone into a frog. I like how it, <laughs> It's not, it's not even a bubble chart. It's just a chart with bubbles. ChatGPT doesn't know the different kinds of charts. Next up is a pie chart where the metric is the proportion of dragons by favorite dessert. Whoa, this one is epic. Wow. <laughs> so it's supposed to be, each slice is supposed to be your favorite dessert. And it's I ice cream, ice cream, and eye pike. <laughs> Okay, and then this one, the 52 sliced pie chart. Um, but the, the proportions add up to way more than 100%. 48, 52, that's, that's 100 right there. And then you have another, what is that, 98%? And then just a bunch of random slices. All time worst pie chart ever we found. All right, heat map. X-axis is the types of pizza toppings. The Y-axis is the popularity among zombies. Wowza, now that is a heat map. You ever heard of the five second rule? So the five second rule dictates that you should be able to look at a chart and within five seconds, be able to gain some sort of insight from it. This looks like some sort of graphic you'd see for like a pizza shop. Pet. I like how on this one, it says Zomzas. A realistic data visualization graph depicting the relationship between ninja sneakiness and whale size. Ooh! Oh, I love the whale images. Yes. Uh, no, no ninjas here. Uh, didn't really capture the ninja sneakiness, but love the whale. Mmm. Okay. Well, okay. There's the ninjas. The ninjas are just kind of hanging out on top. Don't really know what to do with those, but they look cool. This one's a donut chart, and the metric is the distribution of troll moves. Oh, and of course, of course, it looks like an actual donut. Can you imagine, can you imagine if you presented to your boss a donut chart? <laughs> that it was actually the graphic of a donut. This doesn't look like it adds up to 100. This one's fun. Look at all those, all those trolls. Yep, hangry, trompy. So, you know, throwing in new moods there. That one was wild. Produce a Venn diagram, a Venn diagram of Nicolas Cage films and major volcanic eruptions. Ooh, oh, I love that like we got the actual, actual image of Nicolas Cage in the back. That is awesome. I like the graphics on this one. Yeah, look at that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that, that's a Venn diagram. Okay. A map of the world where the more data analysts live, the more red the area glows. I like that one. Look at that, epic. All right, the nice thing about this one is I can actually understand what's going on because it's a very simple prompt. Yeah, that one's fun. Whoa, look at that. This is like a, a 3D world. Like, why do I need all of that? Uh, that one's kind of cool. First one is definitely the best. I could actually make sense of that. That's the first chart we've looked at that actually makes some kind of sense. Let's move on. Okay, 
Next up is a column chart. The x-axis is the type of wizard hats. And the y-axis is the magic power level. This one's cool because the hats are actually different styles. But notice the, the prompt was different types of wizard hats, like pointy, floppy, wide brim. And this one, uh, they mostly look the same. But bonus points to ChatGPT for actually showing the hat. Let's move on. Box plot for the x-axis is the different species of mythical creatures and the y-axis is their average bedtime. <laughs> this one, this one's gonna be funny. <laughs> it's just like a plot with boxes. That's a, that's, that's not a box plot. I like how a bear is a mythical creature here. Like a kangaroo. This one down here is kind of horrifying. I don't know what that is. Next up is a histogram, where the x-axis is the number of socks lost in the laundry, and the y-axis is the frequency of alien abductions. Ooh, okay. I like the, the cartoony kind of animation. You got the aliens on top of the bars here and some socks floating around. That's, uh, that's fun. This one, it, it's like real looking socks. <laughs> two, two, four, five, five, three. Okay, okay so. Five alien abductions and uh, lots of lots of socks. Okay, next is the Sankey diagram. The metrics are energy flow from a magic wand to various spells. This one's dope. I mean, this looks like you're on an acid trip or something. Like that's crazy. Not that I know what an acid trip feels like. Next up, tree map. A tree map where the metric is the proportions of forest areas occupied by different fairy tale characters. That is an excellent prompt. I have a feeling it's just gonna give me uh, a map with trees on it. I don't think Dolly knows what a tree map is. Yep, I was right. Like, this literally looks like a skills list for your RPG character. You even got, you know, all the little icons. The icons look dope. Wow. Okay, so you know how I said this one was like the skills list for your RPG character? This one is the map for your game. And the detail is absolutely insane. I mean, look, there's like a tree or there, there's like a house back here shaped like a bunny. Wow, does not fulfill quite what I was asking for, but it, again, it looks incredible. All right, moving on. Waterfall chart with the metric is the steps to becoming a mermaid. As I expected, not a waterfall chart, it's just a chart that looks like a waterfall. Let's look at the steps. Get a tail, getting tail, get a towel, learning to sing, leering to sing, making two friends, makes fish friends. <laughs> Moving on. Area chart, x-axis is time from dawn to dusk, and the y-axis is volume of werewolf howls. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, where do I begin? I, I, I wish it was able to give actual time. This is just nonsense down here. This one, got the different colors going on. There's, there's always a 3D one in here. All right, now I got a violin plot. I've never heard of a violin plot. The x-axis is the different kinds of pixie dust. The y-axis is the happiness levels upon inhalation. So this of course assumes that pixie dust will make you happy. Let's look up, is a violin chart a real thing? What is a violin chart? A violin plot is a statistical graphic for comparing probability distributions. It is similar to a box plot with the addition of a rotated kernel density plot on each side. <laughs> this is just literally <laughs> a plot with a violin on it. Okay, yep, another plot with a violin on it. A uh, plot with a violin on it, and a plot with a violin on it. So in my opinion, it looks like ChatGPT still has a way to go before it can make data visualizations that are actually meaningful. It's really good at making charts look aesthetically amazing, but the problem is they're often way too complicated and lean way too much on looking visually appealing rather than making insights easy to read. What do you think about Dolly 3? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you liked seeing this experiment. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.